You know, Alan, Dale Earnhardt drove a black number three to victory lane in eight of his ten wins here at Talladega. This, the final memorable 76 victory of his stellar career. The owner of that car, Richard Childress. And now Childress' grandson, Austin Dillon, races his own black number three here at this track. With Austin now. Austin, what does the history of the three here mean for you as you take on Talladega? Well, I think it means a lot everywhere, especially Talladega, just because the, the last race was won here by Dale. And, uh, I really like to be able to run it, and I like running it out front. So if we can put it out front today, I think we can make the, the stands raise up, and that'll be fun. So the Advocare Chevrolet was really fast yesterday in practice. Uh, we'll just stick it out front, hopefully, here. And what it does trying trying to keep these motors cool and that's one of the pop pop having him back there he, he's a motor guy so that'll be good to have him on our side can you keep it cool both in the pack and with tandem racing or do you have to choose one or the other well t truthfully i think as hot as it is today even in the pack you're going to be worrying about temperature so uh, it's just going to be uh, you're going to monitor it all day and uh, take care of it and then at the end uh, go for broke let it uh, eat the legacy of the three strong here as austin Dillon makes his first nationwide series start at talladega mike massaro a week ago, Kurt Busch went to victory lane driving a car owned by his brother. Today, he tries to beat him. I would imagine there's still going to be an element of teamwork here between you and your brother today. How do you plan to approach this race? Well, we got to work our way up from this starting position. You know, with our HendrickCars.com Chevy, we don't have the points, so we'll come up and work our way through, and hopefully by a third of the race through, we're teamed up with the monster car. Kyle and I will be pushing. We're pitted together. So the whole sequence today is to stick together as brothers and see if we can come out on top of a restrictor plate race. You have lots of experience here in Talladega behind the wheel of a Sprint Cup car. 22 stars but this will be your first start here at this track in a nationwide car. How's it different? You know, it's just uh, a little bit different with the draft because of the spoiler size, the lack of horsepower, and then uh, the cooling system is a little bigger with the nationwide cars versus the cup cars. But, you know, Kyle's uh, the all-time winningest nationwide guy, so teaming up with him, that's the best uh, chance that I've got at winning today. Good luck this afternoon. Thanks a lot. Alan, Kurt Busch starts 31st, but he did have the fastest car in final practice, so he's got a car capable of getting to the front in a hurry. He will be fun watching come up through that traffic in the opening laps here at Talladega. Always beautiful. Beautiful views looking down on this massive track in our aerial coverage today brought to you by direct TV only direct TV gives you dedicated driver channels so you'll never miss a second of your driver's race call 1-800 direct TV we're moments from going racing what will the world's fastest speedway leave us buzzing about today the rolling hills of eastern Alabama are a peaceful place green serene but tucked in along that calm countryside hides a beast. For a weekend, it emerges. The people converge to cheer the beast and those who challenge it. It's time to change the landscape. It's time for Talladega. Talladega, Alabama, a name carried around the world through the exciting competition at Talladega Super Speedway, where the NASCAR Nationwide Series goes racing momentarily. Because of rain here on Thursday, qualifying was canceled, so the field lined up according to the NASCAR rulebook. That's basically by points, putting the top two in the championship, Elliot Sadler and Ricky Stenhouse Jr., side by side on the front row. Richard Childress Racing has accomplished a lot of the Nationwide Series, Jamie, but never won at this track. Could Elliot Sadler do it today? Perhaps he could. He's starting here in the number one spot, talking to his crew chief here. Elliot, I know there's a lot of unpredictability at this track, but what is your plan to start this race? Well, I tell you what, this is um, this race is kind of a wild card race, Jamie, as you know, and, and with the new rules that we have on the radiators, we really don't know how hot our engines are going to be, so we're really going to play it by feel. Right now, we want to stay up front. We want to keep that track position, so if anything happens, it happens, uh, happens behind us, but uh, we're definitely going to try to take care of this one main financial car and try to be there at the end. This race it's so chaotic a lot of times, and you, you get bit by the bug sometimes here. But we just try to play a good, safe race, save our engine temperatures as much as we can, try to go get them at the end. The fans at home keep hearing us talk about how steamy it is and how your engines are getting hot. What about you guys behind the wheel? What are you doing to stay cool today? I just I hydrated a lot uh, this morning and, and yesterday, and we're used to it. I've been doing this a long time, so my body's pretty seasoned as far as concerned. It's not too bad today, a little cloud cover. Usually the first hot race of the seasons always seem hotter than the rest of them but you know our bodies and I'll get you know get used to it this is what we train and work out and and, and sweat for during the week to, to get ready for these hot races so just want to you know take care of my guys on pit stops get um, good communication with Luke good teammate teammate work 
and uh, make it to the end. I think the car that's got all four wheels rolling in the same uh, direction at the end of the race will have a good chance of winning it, and hopefully we'll be there. Looking for his first win. Alan? Jamie, thanks, and Sadler's rival for the Nationwide Series Championship, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. from nearby Mississippi. We'll start on the front row with him, separated by just two points, two positions on the racetrack in the championship, both with two wins so far in this season. Before we begin today's race, we go trackside for the opening ceremony. At this time, please stand and remove your hats as the Alabama Army National Guard presents our nation's colors. Here to offer today's invocation is the Minister of Missions at Eastmont Baptist Church and Alabama Raceway Ministries volunteer, Reverend Billy Dickey. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day you've given us. May we honor you in all we say and do. We ask for your protection over the men and women that serve in our armed forces, along with today's drivers, crews, officials, and race fans. But more importantly, we thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross to save us of our sins and eternal life. It's in the name of my personal Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, here to sing today's national anthem, please welcome Curb Records recording artist and Alabama native, Tim Duggar. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last way? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous spot? All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner This last moment before the drivers climb aboard, one to share with family, friends, team, or alone in their thoughts. We go racing after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Somehow, a driver must keep their head on straight. They must ignore banking that is too high, a track too long, speeds too fast, and danger lurking around every too tall turn and accept that goal number one isn't to win, it's to survive. Just getting to the checkered flag is so difficult that the biggest, baddest track in NASCAR, where the command to start engines is moments away at Talladega Super Speedway, the once a year visit by the NASCAR Nationwide Series to the world's fastest speedway. So we mentioned uh, as we came on the air and updated a little bit ago that one stray shower that came across, I mean, it rained for about a minute and a half uh, across this racetrack. It did drop a decent amount of moisture in that brief time, but it's some 87 degrees out right now. And the rain has stopped. They've got the jet drying equipment out on the racetrack, and they're drying very quickly, as you can see, the racing surface. But they do have to get the last of that moisture evaporated and dried up before you can send these cars racing off at 190 miles an hour. Yeah, here you use up every inch of this racetrack, so it won't take long to get that, as you said, with the temperature here. Momentary delay in the command to start engines gives us a chance to talk to a couple of more drivers before they set off on their journey. Doc? 
And I'm with Brad Kozlowski, 2010 Nationwide Series champ. And Brad, this place has been good to you. Two wins, your first cup win in a wild finish, and the first win in a Penske car here in 2010, another wild finish. What is it about you and this Talladega Super Speedway? Well, I don't know. It's, uh, Talladega has just been good to me. And, uh, you know, some of it's good luck. And I like to say some of it is recuperating from all the bad luck I've had at Daytona, which is kind of the sister track. So, uh, you know, it's funny how that all works out. We're ready to have another good day here today with the uh, discount tire Dodge. Uh, we had a great run going at Daytona it up second and uh, like to get that one more spot uh, here at Telday. A lot of rule changes. The driver's saying it may be pack racing. It may be tandem racing. What do you think uh, is going to happen today? Both. <laughs> I think you're going to see both and it's going to be a mixture of everything and uh, you know whatever one you like you, if you look hard enough you're going to see it. So uh, I think the nationwide cars are going to put on a great race today. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. Back in Daytona he pushed teammate Sam Hornish to the lead. Today he hopes Sam Hornish can push him to the win. Alan? Would not be the first time that the Michigan native has gone to victory lane here at Talladega Super Speedway. Doc, he's got a Sprint Cup win and two years ago in this nationwide series race. In that red, white, and black 22 car pushed to the front. Ahead of all the mayhem happening behind him. And Brad Keselowski scored a win at Talladega Super Speedway. That was in 2010. The live scene at Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama getting ready for today's NASCAR Nationwide Series race. The Aaron's 312 getting set to go on a steamy afternoon. Temperature some 87 degrees. What was about a 20% chance of a shower? Well, we got the 20% briefly, but the track is quickly drying. It is not raining anymore. There's nothing on the radar. And NASCAR saying in less than five minutes, they will give the command to start engines and roll this field out onto the racetrack. Gives us the opportunity to squeeze in another quick break so we come back and see as much of this thrilling edge of your seat racing as we possibly can show you. The engines fire at Talladega next. Anticipation building for the start of the NASCAR Nationwide Series race at Talladega. Command to start engines coming up in just a little while. This is a day where some of the underfunded underdog teams with experienced drivers have a chance to kind of get into the mix. Kenny Wallace, a good example. Yeah, don't count anybody out of winning this one. And this is one I think could be a dark horse. Kenny Wallace in this 99 team. It's basically his 09 team he was driving before. I think he'll have a shot. Kenny's brother Mike has a reputation for being terrific in the draft. Yeah, he's starting back the 19th spot today, but don't expect him to be there very long. People like to hook up with this man because he knows how to go to the front. Then there's Joe Nemechek, a two-time winner here. He almost won this race last year. And he has won here quite a few times, so he'll be a good pick. So anybody's race, pretty much, though at the end, experience can tend to win out. That doesn't mean it has to win out, but it can. Uh, the little rain shower that has delayed the start ever so slightly has gone away. The track drying is just about finished up, and the drivers are aboard their cars for what's going to be a stressful, hot, grueling day behind the wheel in the 190-mile-an-hour rush hour traffic that is the draft at Talladega. We need those famous words right now. Race fans, it's time for the most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command to start the engines, please welcome back our Grand Marshals for today's race. From the Wounded Warrior Project, Marine Corps Lance Corporal Mitchell Underwood, Army Specialist Casey Wade, Marine Corps Sergeant James Rivera, and Army Specialist Andrew Cochran. reporter Danica Patrick has never raced at Talladega before but she does have a few races worth of experience at Daytona where the racing style is similar will seven be the lucky number today back after this from our ABC stations